Welcome back for my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Friday, the 24th of April. We're going to look at dollar yen now. Wow, um, I'm really trying to make this one sound as interesting as possible, but it really isn't that great at the moment, is it? It's just completely and utterly gone into the doldrums, isn't it now? Um, going sideways for the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sessions, basically dead flat and um, going nowhere. Stuck underneath 61.8% FIB at 108 figure, but equally not going anywhere to the downside either. 107.25 has capped the downside, um, limited the downside, and 106.90, that key support from April, a couple of occasions in April, remains easily intact for now. Um, momentum indicator is pretty much dead flat as we speak. Now look at the hourly chart, you can see that even more. Um, oscillating slightly, just the slightest negative divergence with the RSI sort of tailing off at 60, going back towards 30 a couple of times, low 30s, very slight negative divergence, nothing that you'd put the house on by any means whatsoever. 107.25 seems to be recently finding where the support is. 108 figure, as I said, is the 61.8% FIB level, and again, on the hourly chart, it pretty much comes in around there or thereabouts, doesn't it? All these highs. 108.20 um, was an old pivot level that I'm still taking as a, uh, a resistance level as well. So you'd need a decisive move above that to really gain momentum uh, of a recovery or, or upside move. But essentially, you're not really showing any real direction whatsoever. Below 106.90, you get direction as well to the downside. But for now, we are waiting. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinar.